Alright everyone, welcome back to another Wacky Wednesday on the Western Gamer YouTube channel. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. But here we have F1 with the greatest crossover imaginable, F1 at the World Center of Racing, Daytona on the Daytona Road Course. Not quite so wacky, I definitely think it's a feasible and possible thing that could happen, but still, so far, hasn't happened. I think it would be kind of interesting if it did, so let's see what how these cars handle. Uh, we did switch over to the hard tires, and man, these things are fast. So yeah, we switched over to hard tires, hopefully that will last us for seven laps, we're hopefully going to get this all done in one race without wrecking and uh, hurting our suspension or anything like that. So what's going to be interesting is the draft effect on these cars on the uh, super speedway segments of the track. That should be very, very interesting. Cars handle really good too, like it. So guys pulling away from us here. We currently sit in fourth, that's where we started, haven't really moved up or down, so that's nice. Coming down the back stretch here, we definitely have a little bit more speed. It'll be nice and easy, make sure that we make the turn there. Luckily, we were able to keep from hitting him. But that off the throttle just a little bit because I was gonna, if I hit the throttle, I was gonna slide right into a uh, number three position there. Because his tire disappeared there for a second, in my view. That was interesting. So we can get these uh, laps ticked off pretty fast, it seems like. I like how the car handles. Car handles really good on this track. Let's see if we can get another position. There we go. Almost got it. Block, 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 block. And we have position. A little bit of a dirty scenario there, but other than that, not too bad. Just gonna make sure that we keep it now. Got about a five second faster lap time going on right now. Let's see what we can do with that. Nice and easy, nice and easy, nice and easy. One thing is holding, making sure that you hold the car nice and steady on the banking. I almost lost control of the car there. Able to gain it back. And here we come around to the line. We have knocked off about five seconds of a time. I'm gonna see how fast it actually was. Yeah, so about five seconds, point two sixty. That's how much time. Ooh. He almost hit the wall, and I almost hit the wall following his line. And we've got one car that's going to get back around. Yeah, I'm not able to get off of the corner very well. Able to get in there with the braking zone pretty good, but uh, definitely not getting off the corner very well. Yeah, they're doing a much better job of getting off the corner than I am. So uh, that's one thing I need to work on. Still, we're sitting up here in third compared to the uh, Monza race, where these guys were uh, really taking me to town and were leaving me there. And then they were able to come back <laughs> and still at me. So that's how that all worked out. Alright, very smooth through there for the most part. Liked how smooth that was. Getting better through that transition. That's the hardest part is figuring out that uh, braking zone for that back of bus stop each time you switch to a new car. See if we can't get... So it's a pretty good draft here. 208 miles an hour. 
We're coming in a lot faster. Got 10% damage on the front end there thanks to that cone. So missed up our line just a little bit there. Gonna dive it in here. There we go, we've retained fourth now, so we need to get back up there and get that other position if we can. Yeah, we just cannot get, quite get uh, throttle and uh, the exit of the turn very well. That's what we're dealing with, because we're just kind of slipping a little bit on the rear end and just can't quite get the power down without slipping around. So that's the main issue with our corner exit. What I can tell you is that this is pretty intense. If this was actually an F1 track in an F1 game, it would be very, very intense racing this. And I think like the DRS and all that stuff, if that was all activated, it would be a pretty intense race, all things considered. Because I'm not sure if you'd be able to do uh, DRS through the turns or not, like the, uh, the speedway turns, but definitely on these straights through the tri oval and on that back stretch, I think it could definitely be uh, workable. We got one car, looks like he is out of the race currently, so probably had a uh, tire engine failure, probably from hitting those uh, tire barriers right there in the corner because everybody kind of dives bombs that turn there, so that's probably what happened, just lost his tire. We kind of overshot our turn there just a little bit. Can we get back into a good groove here and get back up to the front? Got the sun on the set just a little bit. Got a little bit wide here on exit. I don't think that really helps us uh, with our exit, but uh, might help us with our speed ever so slightly. And we've got a run coming from the side. Let's see if we can get behind him, get a little bit of a pull here. And he stopped right in front of us. Amazingly, we didn't get any damage from that contact. I'm surprised because he was right up off the ground there. I'm surprised that we did not get any sort of damage on the front nose of this. That's surprising. But yeah, I was just trying to draft him there and he braked earlier than I thought he was going to. Ooh, yep, see, and there it is. There it is. Howdy, buddy. How you doing? That's the one thing we wanted to watch out for, so that would probably be the one dangerous part here. And I forgot, we can't go driving around, unfortunately. We can try slowly, but we have to stop like that. So we might be able to get around to pit road here. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do that. So, anyways, that's basically the race, guys. We're going to go ahead and retire since uh, basically our car is completely done for. But, yeah, that would probably be the main safety concern for all of these uh, for all of these F1 guys is hitting potentially that barrier by trying to send it even deeper into the turn. So, I can definitely see how that would be uh, kind of dangerous. But, still, definitely fun. This track has always been a favorite of mine. And F1 cars... Uh, are definitely extremely fun to drive on this so I would definitely uh, try that out if you can with either F uh, Project Cars 2 or Project Cars 3 because it's definitely a, a fun experience in my opinion
So here we go, looking at the lap times. One of the best lap times right there is a 1 minute and 30 seconds. So that's a pretty good lap time there. We're going to see if we can see any uh, fast ones. as a 130.42. Um, a 138.80. And we did a 130.54. So we had, luckily we had two other cars have to retire before. So we went uh, in last position. So that's nice. So here's how it looks from the uh, cinematic view, so I don't know, that looks pretty impressive. Having all those cars start off there. That looks really cool. I would definitely be a, uh, a fan of seeing an F1 race at Daytona, that would be pretty neat in my opinion. That's pretty cool, so. Anyways guys, not necessarily a wacky video, definitely wacky in the corporate world, I think, but in realistic just racing world without the uh, business politics, uh, I definitely think it's a feasible racetrack for F1 to run. And so, not quite as wacky, but definitely if you consider the business aspect, it's uh, probably a pretty wacky and far out there idea. But still, I mean, just look at that, that is just, that is very cool to see, and I would definitely be... Uh, excited to see that even if IndyCar tried it that would be kind of neat as well so anyways guys that is the video for today don't forget that every day is track day and you check out the track day merch links down below in the description but uh, that's the video for today thanks guys for watching definitely fun enjoyed it quite a bit today and we'll see you guys here next time on the Combustion Gamer possibly with another wacky Wednesday thanks for watching bye bye